Good day everyone, today we're going to share to you guys a reflection about the documentary The Social Dilemma. Synopsis, tech expert from Silicon Valley revealed the other side of social media as a manipulative tool that used algorithms to control the user's online engagement. They tackled the effects of social media which include cacophony of grievances and scandals, stealing data, tech addiction, fake news polarization, and election manipulation which all points to their faulty business model. If users allow these platforms to keep neglecting an ethical issues, society will undoubtedly be detached from reality. Hi, I'm Brittany Bat Alolino, and here are my sense from the documentary, The Social Dilemma. Well, I would admit to you that I am actually addicted to social media. Well, the first thing that I would grab in the morning and the last thing that I would grab at night would probably be, probably be my phone. Um, I am so immersed in using it to the point that even when I am eating or doing my school stuff or doing my household chores, I would always integrate my phone in it and I always have that feeling that whenever I go, I should post about it, I should share about it on my social media accounts. And that is what made me realize that I am addicted to social media. I think the very reason why it happened to me is because of the of the changes in our routine nowadays since the pandemic happened. Before pandemic, I am not this very into uh, social media, but now I can't get on a day without having it. Like. Since I am studying online, I am very vulnerable to the social media sites because it was just one click away to Facebook, one click away to YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and all that sites. And I thought at first that it was actually good the, the, be- the more that I scroll on my feed, the more that I watch videos, the better they are at predicting my interest and recommending me videos it actually enticed me and prolong my usage on the site but now that I've watched the documentary I have realized that it is it is really creepy it's scary while it is true that in social media we get access to many news articles and of controversies, celebrity lives issues, and all the social, social political, cultural, and environmental issues all around the world, it is actually nice that we have a platform where we can easily spread news and real-time updates about the current situation especially now that we are in pandemic that we need um, to be updated we need to learn about what is happening in the world um, but then we also know that fake news is really prevalent nowadays so we can't just read one article and believe it at this is we have to critically think about it but then when I watch the documentary it made me it made me realize that we don't know anymore but what if all the information that you are getting is all controlled and manipulated by someone because after all the business model of these social media sites is where we as the users become the product that they are selling to big companies to influential people so that I threw ads and through spreading this information and all so it made us really think what is how how do we verify that the news that we are reading is really true before I start allow me to introduce myself first I am Rachel Va- Fabri by the way from B-E-O-M-G-A. As the expert explained, the danger of social media and its extreme addictability, 
I kind of believe it. No, I really believe it. As you can see in the documentary narrative, we see how Ben slowly changed. And it started when he's not following his mother's condition not to use his cell phone in seven days. But he cannot help it when he saw the notification from his ex-girlfriend seeing someone else. And also, Ben further down the rabbit hole of propaganda and fake news. And from that, Ben changed. He stopped from going to sport practice. He ignored his family and friends. And he also becomes more and more depressed. And also, it shows how the social media affect the self-esteem and self-image of his younger sister. And it started when he posts her picture in the social media. And someone leaves an ugly comment on her selfies. After watching this scenario, I cannot de deny the fact that I was really affected and relieved by it. And I know it's not really good because it changed the way I think, what should I do, and maybe it changed the way I am. You know, when I still not updated to social media, my life only evolved on cleaning the house, spending time with my family, and selling anything like foods and etc. for me to get extra money. But when social media introduced to me, I was amazed and got addicted to it. It really affected my way of living. Before, my life was full of outdoors activities. I had so much fun playing with my playmates that I interact personally, unlike today. I prefer to only to always in my room, read to read Wattpad and watching K drama, and it affected my health because instead of sleeping, I got distracted scrolling in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and watching YouTube videos, and it's sad but I can't help it. My behavior and way of thinking usually depends on what I see in the social media. It's like I am not me anymore. I see social media as a great influencer in my life. I know I should not blame the social media why I changed, but I started changing myself when I start engaging myself in the social media. Hi, my name is Geraldine Jade M. Faro. The Social Dilemma documentary is an eye-opener for me as an individual who belongs to a generation where social media has been part of daily life. As I watched the videos, I've realized many things about social media. Um, both good and bad things. To begin with, we all know social media has been useful to us as we use it for communicating and looking for information and many more. As I watched the documentary, I realized one thing about social media. Social media is like a double-bladed sword. It has both favorable and unfavorable consequences. Yes, it helped us to keep in touch with our loved ones, help us to see our needed information, but what we don't know is that we are slowly falling into the trap wherein it is impossible to get out. As a social as social media doing favorable favorable things for us, they slowly started to do what their goal is and that is to gain money and data about us. In addition, social media manipulates people. As what I have seen uh, in the video Creators used persuasive technology to create an algorithm to pursue their intention that is to modify the behavior of the users. So they designed their platform with an aim to increase people's engagement time, um, to have more online friends to keep in touch with, and put an advertisement on the contents that we watch or read. I say they are very clever. Um, creating a facade as a tool that helps people, but the truth is they are an angel in disguise um, using means to exploit, control, and influence others to their advantage. Another point is social media is controlling and addicting. Everything we do online is being watched, tracked, measured, carefully monitored, and recorded.
They know everything about us, what kind of people we are, about how we feel currently happy or depressed, or what type of personality we have. With this many amount of data, they use it to control us by providing content that agrees with our own views and opinions and um, interesting contents that pique our interest just to keep us, keep us online and keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So, it's like they isolate us from the reality of the world just by giving us content exclusive for us. I can say I am one of the people who is a puppet or who is controlled by social media. All my activities in life are linked to social media, schoolwork, communicating with friends and families, watching videos, and many more. I can testify that social media is addicting, really, because every time I use it, I have in mind that I should just use it for one hour, but not long after, I realized it has already been three hours, and I did not notice the time because I was watching something fun. For example, in uh, videos in Facebook, I just keep watching mukbang, and another mukbang will pop up and I just keep watching and watching it because for me it was fun. Um, I tried to resist the temptation but um, sometimes I did but most of the time I just give in to the temptation because I like it. In conclusion, experts suggested that we should fully cut any connections in social media. But it is very impossible for us to do that nowadays because people are getting more and more into technology and social media. So in order to not fall into the trap of social media that is designed for, we should be a responsible user, apply self-discipline, and use social media in a way that you can benefit from it. As for the engagement time, you should set your limit and control yourself from temptations such as watching fun videos and contents. In a world where information is very accessible, be a critic, evaluate and verify the facts first before believing. Be mindful in your activities and, and comments on social media. Lastly, think before you click. And that would be all, thank you. And that would be all, thank you.